gentlemen. I want to thank you for braving the elements and coming out this morning. And as we've been saying all week, as we talked about this demo, the idea this morning is not to cause unnecessary harm or frighten anybody or make anybody feel that you know maybe we shouldn't have a, a real live tree or we shouldn't we shouldn't have Christmas trees or we shouldn't do this stuff. The idea is to actually show you just how dangerous it is if you actually don't prep it and properly look after it for the next four or five days. Right here you're going to see a simulated, it's a real live tree. It's been last three days without receiving any water at all. So that's about as realistic as we can make it. I'm, I'm Craig Harnum, I'm the Deputy Fire Chief of the City and I'll be your host and MC. And uh, you can use me as your general guideline. If you see me leaving to run, do your best to keep up. Uh, the fire is going to be totally controlled. Our shift B shift is on today. They're under the direction of Captain Jack Kenny. And you can mingle and meet with them over there. Lieutenant Wayne George, Firefighter Alex Way, Firefighter Phil Brinston, Firefighter Alex Hillier, Firefighter Mark Griffin is going to be looking after the trailer here and inside there. We actually have a portable fire extinguisher demo unit that you can actually play with a simulated fire. He got some door prizes. We have brand new firefighter uh, David Critch is going to be our fire suppression expert today. So if uh, you don't get it 100% right, he's brand new. Uh, Assistant Fire Chief Deputy Keen, uh, Deputy Chief Keen is in the crowd mumbling around and so a couple more firefighters. So anybody you see uh, dressed in bunker gear, wearing fire clothes, you got any questions, feel free to ask them. We're expecting this little room over here to be totally consumed within two or three minutes. So it shouldn't take too long. There's no accelerants in any way. It's just naturally what's in a living room. Uh, to get this off and going, we had some great support. This was actually a, a dream of about uh, two weeks ago. We sat around my office with our fire prevention officer, Captain Martin, who stood up by his dad right here and said, what can we do to drive home the dangers of a real Christmas tree? And we just, it was born in all of four or five minutes. So thanks a lot, Captain Martin. Oh, great job. Uh, to get this things going, We'd like to thank uh, Stan Da. He provided all the material. We'd like to thank uh, Captain Martino's dad from Martino Construction. He prefabbed it and, and got it all together first and come up and assembled it this morning. And more than anything, we'd like to thank uh, Canadian Tire for we just came up and within two minutes of chatting with the owner said, let's do it. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to pass the mic over to the owner of Canadian Tire and just to have a few thanks words. everybody for coming up here today. Uh, thanks to the Cornerbrook Fire Department for organizing this. Thanks to the media for being here. Uh, the reason why Canadian Tire is so supportive of this is if we can have one, if we can save one life, if we can keep this top of mind awareness through the holiday season, and we don't have any, uh, we don't have any news surrounded around any fires uh, through the holiday season, that would be absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. I hope it's a great event. Thank you very much. And I just want to say thank you. I think everything's been said here. Great support from Canadian Tire, Standa, Martino Contracting. Thank you very much. And, of course, our firefighters. So I'd like to give a big hand to our firefighters for getting together and putting this off and showing us, I guess, a good safety message for the season. So Merry Christmas, everyone. Let's burn something down. Hey, we're going to get ready to go here. So as soon as we get our lines charged, because uh, we're going to be we're going to be ready just and make sure that we're nothing goes wrong. We're looking at three to four minutes for this to become what we would consider a family Christmas friendly living room to it becomes a fully involved structure fire. So as you can see, we do have a small fire lit right now. So I guess the timer has started, and you can see.
would be a big, uh, big red car that won't just break all down. There you go. There. Awesome. I think I'm 